Alright you guys, it's me Josh, and I am here to review Pitch Perfect 2. This came out in 2015, it is directed and produced by Elizabeth Banks, and the plot is it's been three years since the Barn Bellas became the first all-female group to win a national title. All seems well until a botched Lincoln performance at the Lincoln Center for the president leads to a scandal that strips them of their performing duties, causing internal tension and strife. With the world championships on the horizon in Copenhagen and Denmark, the women must let de themselves work together and get their act together for the one and only shot of redemption. So basically that's a redemption story. So what do I think of the sequel is okay when I first saw this movie I did enjoy the film I thought hey this is better than the first one but now the more I watch the first one the more or less I start to hate this film but it's not a terrible movie I just don't think it's all that good as the first film but anyways let's just Okay, the cast, Anna Kendrick, Rebel Wilson, Brittany Snow, Hannah Mae Lee, Alexis Knapp, Elizabeth Banks, John Michael Higgins, Skylar Asson, Adam Devine, Ben Platt, and Anna Camp, they all return, as well as some new faces. We have Haley Steinfeld, who I thought is really great in this film, she's hilarious, and she's not from the Disney Channel. She's, she was in, I remember seeing her in another movie last year called True Grit, which came out in 2010. And I ended up enjoying her performance in that film, and she's an Oscar-nominated actress. You also got Katie Seagal in here, and you also got some new cast members here and there, but you also got the Green Bay, Bay Packers the hosts of the voice and that's cool so you also got Snoop Dogg my man and, and all the acting in this movie is superb is great is great now I do have positives before I get into my negatives I do like the music. I do love the music. It is it's awesome. It's great. I love the the performances. The singing is really awesome. I also really do enjoy the whole the whole um, riff off scene in the film, and I just love the acapella performances, especially the one at the end of the film. That was probably the best. Perform acapella performance, not that sound machine because I really do hate the the group of that sound machine in this movie. They're just there to try and be a rip off of the Barton Bellas. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's true. But when when the Barton Bellas come out and sing, it's pretty awesome. And when they sing Jesse J's Flashlight. The ver their version of it is very beautiful. It's pretty. It's very pretty. And with the Barn Bellas before the before them, that that was awesome. Now, the comedy is still there, but some of it is a little racist, which that does lead me into my negatives of this film. Negative number one. Bumper is way too obsessive with trying to get with um Fat Amy, and it kind of takes me out of the movie. There's this there's a scene in this movie where he's like crying, and Fat Amy tells him, "Stop crying, you're a man." <laughs> I'm just like, I was just sitting there, not really giving a care, until. The one scene with them both singing. That's why I actually care. Mm. 
that sound machine again they're just there which is my negative number two they're just there to try and be a rip off of the Barton Bellas and I honestly did not like none of their none of the none of their, jo their jokes their jokes I did not like I didn't like you could tell as I was watching this movie I did not really care about the new team they were going up against no not because they're German it's just because they're just it's kind of they're just there to try to be like the Barn Bellas trying to steal their title but my biggest negative against this film and I'm not gonna hold it against this film I'm sure someone's gonna comment saying they have to do it they have to bring the certain character back but me sitting here watching this movie I do not understand why why was why was Aubrey brought back? Oh, maybe because Anna Camp. Don't get me wrong. I really do like Anna Camp in this movie. I love her in the first one. It's just I like her more here as more nicer, but still has that commanding part than I did in the first one. But she barely has any screen time. I know she probably has scheduling conflicts, but bringing her back almost makes me want to say skip this movie. But there's one exception. Anna Camp as Aubrey. You know what? She's pretty, she's really beautiful to look at. All of the Barn Bellas are beautiful. They're, they're just, it's just, yeah, and I can say that because I'm a 17 year old teenager. But all in all, I don't hate Pitch Perfect 2. I think it could have been a little bit better, but as a fan of Pitch Perfect, this movie is a little bit disappointing. That's why I'm going to be easy. I'm going to give this movie a highly recommended. So let me know in the comments below what you think of Pitch Perfect 2. Do you like it more than I do? Do you hate it? And I'll see you guys later.